Oz has to do something. He has to improvise. And what he does is so freaking smart. So smart. I was like, yes. The Penguin! Spoilers here, guys. So if you haven't seen The Penguin Episode 2, I'm going to talk a little spoilers right here. So you've been warned. I'm going to let it be known. Obviously, you know, maybe not too many spoilers. Maybe not too many spoilers when it comes to Episode 2, but definitely when it comes to Episode 1. If you haven't seen Episode 1, definitely, like, mute or whatever. Or come back in here because, man, I'm telling you, this show, this episode, much... It's... Ah, I don't know if it's, like, much better than the first one, but... The first one was just like this cool introduction and you really got to get get to know Oz a little bit more. And of course, you get to know Vic and then uh, and then you got Sophie that gets into the picture. And then, of course, the whole uh, Maroney Falcone family, you get everything. You get all the base of what you need to know. And then, of course, when it comes to Oz killing Alberto in the beginning, which, of course, sets up this entire story where now Oz has to play. He has to play both sides and make sure his ass doesn't get found out that he killed Alberto. That's what's so great about this series right here. And, of course, the way that the series ended with Alberto's body showing up in that car while Oz was about to get tortured, which didn't link Oz to it. It's just the whole thing. So now that we're getting this episode right here, there is something There is something that happens in this episode where you go, holy shit, Oz, Oswald, Cobb, Cobb, whatever you want to call him, he thinks on his feet. Motherfucker thinks on his feet because obviously we have the memorial in this episode the memorial for alberto happens and oz has to do something he has to improvise and what he does is so freaking smart so smart i was like yes yes because at first i was like oh he's gonna do that and then i went no he did that instead whoa that was good that was good and then, of course, you get a little backstory with Sophia, where you get, like, a shot of her in Arkham. It's like a whole thing. We get more of Sophia and how she is, like, a little effed up and how people don't like her either. When something hap- when something is going down, like, the, a job-wise, he has to improvise. And then when something happens at the memorial for Alberto, the funeral, he has to improvise again. And I'm like, this, this is good writing. And not to mention Colin Farrell still knocking it out of the park. With his portrayal as Oz. 